Hey everyone, Kevin here, and I want to go over the importance of the feedback app whenever you download a beta. So this video is going to be for people who are interested in trying the iOS or iPad OS 17 beta and just exactly what the feedback app is used for. The purpose of the feedback app is to provide Apple and its development teams issues that you've encountered when you are using the beta software. So this will help the development teams uh, fix bugs and it will also help them make the product better for the official launch. So if we open the feedback app. If this is your first time, you're going to get a usage notice. You can read through it. Uh, if you're done, you can just hit accept and then you can sign in. We'll just let this load for a bit. Okay, so once we are in the feedback app, it looks similar to the mail app on iPad. So if you want to leave a feedback for Apple, you can tap on new feedback. You can list all of the details for your feedback. So if we select iOS and iPad OS, we get this page and then we get a summary here and the steps are pretty straightforward. You can describe a, a title. You can specify which area you are seeing an issue with. You can also select which type of feedback you're reporting. So if we select this, then you can select one of these. And if you have a suggestion to make the final product better, then you can select suggestion. And then you can describe the steps to reproduce the issues. And where you see attachments, there's iOS Sys Diagnose. So that is gathering all of the logs that your iOS device um, has captured in order to help Apple debug an issue you are seeing. So if you want to be, be a part of the beta program, uh, it requires just an Apple ID this time around. Of course, I would suggest that if you are going to participate, I would install this on a separate iPhone or iPad and not your main device. If you like this video, please subscribe, please like, comment, share with your friends, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.